The controversial world of pharma sales reps. Is it shameless promotion or vital information? Consultation or sales pitch? The industry's approach is that marketing is crucial for business. There are 16,000 pharma reps, and our statistics show that they make over 25 million visits a year. Just dispatching pharma reps to doctors' practices costs 2.5 billion euros a year. Doctors used to be encouraged to prescribe certain drugs by way of generous gifts, from laptops to weekend trips to Paris. But today the means of influence are more subtle. Doctors can earn extra income by taking part in so-called studies and selling practical insights to drug manufacturers. It's a big business in Germany, the world's third largest pharmaceutical market. Where you have identical drugs, the ones where pharma reps are out in the field sell better. So the effort invested by pharmaceutical companies really is reflected in turnover and sales. These medical students are attending an unprecedented seminar at the Charité Teaching Hospital in Berlin. They're learning about the marketing strategies employed by the drug industry. The key words are advertising and influence. For our future profession, it's crucial to familiarize ourselves with this huge and very complex issue. We have to form an opinion on it and have reliable sources of information at our disposal. Every day you're involved in some study or other. There are thousands of studies, so you need a certain degree of skepticism in order to assess them. The reality is that marketing constitutes a sizable section of the information available to a doctor. In my opinion, learning how to approach it is an important goal and should form part of medical training. The pharmaceutical industry never tires of promoting the value of research and reminding doctors of the invaluable cooperation between companies and medical practitioners. It is all, so it is claimed, for the benefit of patients. In practice, doctors simply need information from pharma companies because it's the companies that have the best information about their products. The information provided by the pharmaceutical industry on new drugs is not at all independent, of course. Companies want to market new products and increase the number of prescriptions for them. A lot of doctors in Germany do not appear greatly concerned, however. This was one of the findings of Professor Klaus Lieb in the first large-scale survey about how doctors deal with pharma sales staff. One of the big surprises was the frequency of visits by pharma representatives. 20% of doctors get at least one visit a day. Also surprising is that doctors consider themselves pretty immune to efforts to influence them. This is despite knowing that the representatives want to influence them. Carolina Walter has a similar impression. She spent 18 months researching while undercover at drug industry conferences, sometimes posing as a doctor. The resulting book has a sobering conclusion. The relationship between doctors and the pharma industry ranges from naive, telling yourself that you're independent, to ignorant, from being fully aware of the consequences of being influenced, to the doctors who consciously take the money and boast of their great contacts to industry. There is a complete spectrum. What we need is more independent doctors. You really have to look hard for them. And that may remain the case for some time. Germany produces up to 18,000 medical graduates a year. And seminars like this one at the Charité Teaching Hospital in Berlin are few and far between. <laughs>